r slash ask reddit people who took revenge on their bully what happened i hate the term bully in this context but a former man child neighbor had issues understanding that it wasn't okay to throw his garbage in my yard or let his drunk friends piss on my house when the county cops didn't do anything about numerous calls I started bagging the garbage and throwing it on his porch. He escalated to putting rat poison in hot dogs and throwing them to my German Shepherd mix. I saw her convulsing, and found three packages worth of hot dogs studded with pellets right along the fence. She pulled through, no worse for wear. Cops said I couldn't prove who did it, so the next time he threw garbage in my yard, which usually contained the guts waste from his hunting and fishing. I gathered fish guts into a bag, waited until he left, and put them in the rafters of his porch, under the hedges in his yard, and finally inside his air conditioner unit. About 3 days later he had all the doors and windows open. The following week he was having the carpet replaced throughout the house. Eventually the guts rotted away and the smell faded, but I think he knew I did it, because I never found trash in my yard again. Do not duck with my dogs. I grew up in a small town. We had one girl everyone thought was the prettiest girl in the whole wide school. She was a mean, petty beach, truly awful. For example, my cat died when I was in 5th grade. She sat behind me muttering about how funny it was that my cat died, that he was a stupid cat, that he died because my mom was too poor to take him to the vet, and urging me to cry. Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna cry about it? Like a big baby? Big baby cry over your stupid cat? Everyone's gonna see you cry. You're about to cry aren't you? Semicolon and so on. This wasn't even the meanest thing she did, and she was mean to everyone. One day in 6th grade, I'd had enough. She didn't even do anything truly awful I was just like duck Jennifer G and decided to do something about her. I stole one of my mom's little index recipe cards and meticulously wrote I stuff my bra in big bold letters. I stuffed that and a little gold safety pin in my jacket pocket. The next day I carefully affixed this to the back of her pink members only jacket just before first bell rang. She walked around with this damn note on all day, confused as to why people were laughing at her. She screamed and screamed when she found it, and she cried. Everyone saw her cry. Not really a bully so much, but I was working at my university in the division of student life as a GA, and had worked myself into a great position where people trusted me and relied on my advice. One night at a big party at a local university bar, I had the craving for a cigarette. I asked this group of girls if they had one, and being one to not bum straight up, I offered a coupon I had for free McDonald's fries if someone would give me one. One of the cuter girls there with a pink stripe in her hair said yes, pulled out her cigs, and I gave her the coupon. She then put her cigs back in her pocket and told me to duck off after stealing my fry coupon. I was pissed off at this point and tried reasoning with her, seriously, over one cigarette? She then called over a couple of guy friends and said that I was falsely accusing her of stealing from me, and her friends all backed her up. She looked me in the eyes and said you shouldn't be so trusting. Fast forward to Monday, we had job interviews for the division and I happened to be passing through replacing a computer. I also happened to see the same pink stripe in hair individual that had stolen the McDonald's coupon from me the week before in line. I went to the person conducting the interviews and told him that she was a thief and a liar. On my way out, I smiled and waved. She didn't recognize me, she didn't get the job, and the interviewer thanked me for my contribution to the interview process. I was bullied heavily in middle school. I wrestled in high school. At a competition, I found I had to wrestle Josh. He was one of those bullies. I knew I could pin him, or to win. Told my coach about him, and my goal wasn't to pin him, but to hurt him as long as possible. Wrestling match starts. I do every move I can think of that hurts. Didn't try to get him on his back. Just kept trying to unjacking up his arms, shoulders. Took a couple shots and checked his crotch with my shoulder since he wasn't wearing a cup. I did the full 6 minutes and 1 12 1 on points. He cried. Entire team went ballistic. Coach had told them he used to bully me and they were cheering me on so hard. Felt like the ducking king of the world. I walked off to my team. He limped off to the athletic trainer. Too long didn't read I wrestled my bully till he cried. I was in 4th grade and had been bullied by a kid named Rocky. Sweat to god that was his name lol. 
who was in 6th grade, anyway he would trip me, knock books out of my hands, punch me etc. One day out on the playground he pushed me into the merry go round while it was spinning. I was rolled around inside it while people were trying to stop it. The whole time he's laughing at me. I get pulled out and I'm scraped up pretty good. Get taken to the office to get patched up. Teachers ask what happened. I told them I fell. Went back outside and saw him standing there with his buddies. I ran as fast as I could toward him and punched him as hard as I could in the face. Broke his nose and just stood there looking at him ready to fight. His buddies told him to leave me alone and I never got picked on again at school. My buddy and I pulled a prank on a bully, Adam. During the last two weeks of high school, we were hanging out at home playing video games and Adam surprised us by stopping by, under the guise of wanting to be friends. Despite having picked on us for the better part of four years, and one time, stabbing me with a pencil, within about five minutes, he was pressuring me to write his final assignment for him, a speech for debate class. At first I said no, I mean... What is this? Some comic book cliche? What will he demand next? My milk money too? But my buddy kept winking at me, putting the pressure on, and convinced me that we should do it. After some negotiation we agreed to put together a speech for him, but only if Adam would pay 25 US dollars, and also pick up a, rather elaborate, dinner order from Wendy's for us to eat that night. He agreed. My buddy and I ate well that night, and we had a plan. What we actually gave Adam was a quickly and pretty poorly written, and somewhat incendiary, speech about the silliness of Martin Luther King Day and how, if America really wanted to celebrate a true hero, it would instead be Joe Namath Day. I'm serious. That's what we wrote. We honestly believed Adam would read this at home, realize he'd been had, and be forced to rewrite and memorize a new speech in the wee hours of the night. Except it didn't go down that way. Imagine my surprise when Adam actually delivered that very speech in class the next day. He didn't have the memorization down. He kept referencing his papers. But he marched on. And the look on our teacher's face was just priceless. I think I peed my pants. I was giggling so hard. The other kids in the classroom were in shock. As I recall, the teacher made Adam stop his presentation. She told him to leave the classroom and she yelled at him in the hallway. As far as I know, Adam never fessed up that he hadn't actually written that paper, and I'm still not quite sure he ever really figured out just how brilliantly he'd been played. I told him if he told me to kill myself one more time I'd punch him in the face. He didn't believe me and told me to go kill myself. I punched him in the face. Broke his glasses and give him a nosebleed and he never spoke to me again. I graduated and they are either drug dealers, in jail, or dead. The best revenge is living well. In my secondary school, when you were about to leave, you'd wear your school uniform shirt on the last day and people would sign it for you. There was also an option to wear your own clothes for the last few days. So this guy who was leaving came decked out in the best of 1980s sports fashion wielding a permanent marker and instead of signing the shirts of leavers he went around scribbling on the shirts of kids who were younger. Now bear in mind we were pretty poor, and if I came home with my uniform in a mess I'd get grief because we couldn't afford to replace it. He grabbed me and scribbled all over my shirt and somehow, using as yet unknown quicksilver powers, I grabbed the marker off him and managed to scribble not only all over his Sergio Dishback windbreaker, but all over his face and neck. He punched me in the tit. I'm a girl, but it was worth it. Two random strangers came during a bullying session in a public place, and they punched my bully for some time while calling me their friend. His entire class was afraid of me after that. I still don't know who my saviors were, but thank you. Damn. Didn't even want anything in return. They literally saw someone getting picked on, beat the a-hole doing it, made a point of how you were their friend and left literal ducking superheroes well my revenge took place years after the bullying but let me tell you the feeling was magnificent i was driving one night and i got rear-ended this took me by surprise simply because this was at three in the morning and i was the only vehicle on the road at this time in this area or so i thought turns out he was driving drunk and I just so happened to have neck pains and trouble sleeping due to the traumatic event. I was able to sue him for enough to pay medical, my vehicle, and a little extra pocket money. That's what you ducking get for pushing me into the locker, Chad. 
ducked his sister for two years. I learned how to fight, then beat the hell out of him. He left me alone from then on, got in trouble with the school, but when they called my dad to tell him I was fighting, he said yeah, I bet, I paid for the lessons. Was it that little shit who's been bullying him? I did not get in trouble at home. I had a friend who had a bully, he had a locker above my friend and would intentionally drop books on her head, push her around, insult her throughout the year, and we all had a class together where he was generally a dong to anyone that he could, before class started and anyone else was in class yet, the teacher had to step out for a bit, and it was just as three in the room, my friend was and still is very tiny but that day, it didn't matter, she snapped and had enough of his shit and went on the attack. I don't think she could have done much damage on her own, but I stepped in. Puberty was swift for me and I was one of the largest kids in school. By 5th grade I was already the size of an adult woman. I pinned him to the wall and let my friend kick the shit out of him and punch him in the balls. He didn't speak to either of us after that, and we never got into any trouble. I don't think he wanted to tell anyone that he got beat up by a couple of girls. Got bullied by this girl in high school for being fat. Lost 100 pounds after I graduated. I looked completely different. Even some family who didn't see me during the process didn't recognize me. I ran into this girl again two years after high school at Starbucks. She started a convo with me as we were stuck at the same table together in a busy Starbucks. We talked. A week later we boned. And then I added her on Facebook to show her who I was. She just banged the fat kid she grew up bullying. Not your traditional revenge, but hey, banging my old bully is worth something right, haha. <laughs> In junior high some little shit was always picking on me and one day I was really mad about something else going on at home so when he came up to me, I hit him in the face with the heel of my gym shoe, broke his nose and a few teeth. Teacher gave me a lecture but no punishment. He didn't bother me again so it was worth it. Your teacher knew. Not me but a good friend of mine. Sophomores in high school, Eric kept a Gatorade in the side pocket of his book bag for lunch every day. Just before second period would start, Eric would put his bag down in class and go to the bathroom. When he would come back, his Gatorade was always empty. This went on for about two weeks and no one would ever tell him who it was. When finally one day he came back from the bathroom to another kid running out of the room retching and holding his pants. Apparently, Eric had had enough of his Gatorade being taken and had put a few drops, half a bottle of Vizine and the Gatorade before he came to school. The kid had to be admitted to hospital a few days later for dehydration from so much throwing up diarrhea from the Vizine. Eric finally knew who it was and no one drank.